Hey, Side Shaders, uh, really quickly, I just wanted to put a video in this group to let you know about some upcoming content that I'm gonna be dropping into the group based on questions and observations that we are seeing regularly over at our agency, Trading Web Guys, in direct relation to essentially how to scale a project-based trade business consistently and leveraging paid traffic as a tool to be able to do that. And we call this whole process scalable acquisition. The general crux of it is you can essentially scale your business to whatever you need it to be, provided that you do a few things in the right order and that you have a general understanding of the dynamics that relate to those few things. And so in the upcoming videos, I'm gonna break down some of those things specifically so that you've got a really good understanding of what they are. And more importantly, you know what you should be doing looking forward. Now, I'm just gonna run through what we're gonna be putting out there. So I'm just gonna jump over here to my little pad. The first video I'm gonna be doing is on budget. Now, you might be thinking, well, what is that about? But all too common, uh, we have conversations with clients that have this big objective around you know, what they want to be hitting in terms of turnover and revenue and things like that, but they don't have an understanding of what they need to be spending in order to get there. So it's a very important conversation. The next one is uh, knowing your numbers. Now, when I say knowing your numbers, uh, we're gonna be talking in this one about the reality when it comes to cold traffic in relation to what you can expect in terms of how many leads you need to generate. If you're following a system, mind you, which I'm gonna get to, how many leads you need to be generating in order to close a deal. And I'm pulling this information from aggregate data that we see with you know dozens and dozens of campaigns that we're running all over the place. To give you guys a bit of insight, a bit of, I suppose, stability in your own thoughts around, okay, well, am I on track here with my lead gen? The next one that we're gonna be talking about is lead versus lag metrics. Now, that is super important because when we're having conversations with businesses, very often what they're telling us is, we wanna be doing this much turnover, which is okay, but turnover is a lag metric. And what I mean by that is, it's the result of what has been done that has given you that turnover. So in that video, I'm gonna dive into how you can discover some lead metrics, which in result impact your lag metrics. The fourth video is on systems. Now, this is gonna be directly relating to sales and marketing systems. <clears throat> so I'm gonna run you through some of the intricacies and some of the some of the way that we manage these, you know, clients, accounts and things like that in terms of like leads, sales pipelines, that kind of thing. And then the final video that I've got on here, although I will say right now, it's very likely that there will be more, is gonna be on sales. And this is gonna be a really interesting episode, I think for anyone, any one of you guys, because I can tell you right now, like the sales process that our agents are following, we actually have sales agents we place in our clients' businesses so they can actually do all the following up and stuff like that for them. And you know, even last week alone, you know, one of our agents was able to book off, off 68 leads, 19 site visits. And we, I'm gonna run you through some of the numbers here on the sales so you understand the different numbers at different points of the sales process to again, see if you guys are on track. And and then there's gonna be another video which we'll send through, which is gonna be essentially a bit of a resource which Benji's been working on in the background there, which is kind of a recap of everything. But yeah, there's gonna be some really nice videos coming out to you guys, really useful stuff. And if you've got any questions about any of it, or if you want any more feedback in relation to it, let me know what that is. And um, no doubt I can add them to the list. So anyway, that's all from me today. Look out for those in coming days. Chat soon, bye-bye. New Zealand-based home renovation company, 6,593% ROAS. Sydney-based solar company, 2,700% ROAS. Hunter region-based bathroom renovation company, 5,616% ROAS. Melbourne-based building company, 13,182% return on ad spend. Adelaide-based solar company, 2,881% return on ad spend. Guys, the list goes on and on. If you're a trade-based business and you work with projects like roofing, solar, bathroom renovations, kitchen renovations, anything like that, head across to tradey.wiki forward slash pod for podcast. tradey.wiki forward slash pod for podcast. Book in a conversation. It is game changing.